Sunday the uh, 24th still of June and uh, the persistence is carrying on yeah so we've got that one going up there that one going up there uh, yeah looking lovely eh Come and get your chemtrails. Breathe that shit in. Yeah. Lap it up, people. And what we're going to find is as they thicken it up, obviously I've taken the polarised lenses off now, you probably can't really see them. But as they thicken it up, so we've got, they go in up through there. There's one going there, there's one up there, there's one going through here, there's one going there, there's another one behind that, there's another one up there, yeah, there's another one up there, another one across there, down there, across there. Oh. Yeah. They're actually just creating that again, same such scenario as yesterday, the hazy upper layer of cloud which will eventually block out the sun just fucking disgusting really absolutely disgusting you really need to think about waking up because <clears throat> you're breathing that in I said to my neighbour across the road about it yesterday and I said uh, I said yeah just uh, breathing in the chemicals and he went, well, they do what they do and we do what we do. And I was like, mate, I don't agree with that. Like, people need to start shouting about this. A chemical attack. You know, you hear um, the likes of Theresa May and Boris Johnson and, you know, all these, you know, pro-Zionist people which are... Um, Oh, Assad's attacking his own people with sarin gas, and you get it on the Jeremy Vine show, even though there's absolutely no evidence whatsoever to suggest that he carried out any attacks. It was more than likely a Western-funded thing uh, in in Syria that, 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 that actually carried out that attack, and then blame it on Assad. Um, I mean, actually, if you look around some of, a lot of the news... It says that um, that story was pretty much made up anyway. Um, they had actors to stage the washing down of people and, and so on and so forth. But, you know, it's just going on what you hear on the, uh, on the internet. But essentially, Assad isn't going to attack his own people. But here we are, being attacked. And... It's causing Alzheimer's, dementia, neurological diseases, um, early expulsion of life, which is obviously all part of Agenda 21 and the depopulation program. I actually can't believe how the sky looks at the moment. It's like the checkered skies of Buckinghamshire. You know. Wakey, wakey, people. Look at it. Have a look at it. It's not the worst day I've seen, admittedly, but... I'm going to keep updating today, like I did yesterday. I've actually only uploaded those videos today from yesterday. And you can see the vast change in the sky and how it changes. Uh, it's you know, the sun will just get blocked out by this continua continuation of planes. And of course, if that is just a conspiracy theory and a wild idea, why isn't the government doing something about this air pollution from aeroplanes? Yeah? Maybe. 
that is what they're going to do in the future. They're going to get people to say, well, look at these planes leaving these trails in the sky. Maybe that's how they'll stop people from moving in the future. They'll say, well, it's just not, it's not environmentally friendly to fly people around the world anymore. We're going to have to look at stopping you moving from and going on holiday and stuff like that. Interesting. Namaste.